Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do an email mail merge using Microsoft Outlook. Uh, the first thing you need to do is create your source or your list of uh, customers or employees. I like these are customers. You can come up with your own email address if you want to test this, but I'll put this on my blog page. Notice it says add source right here, and you do have to have their email, so any email will work for now. Close that out. Start Microsoft Word. All mail merges are done in Word, so I'm going to go to Mailings tab at the top, Email, Email Messages, go find those recipients from that Excel file, pick the right worksheet. This step is optional, but you can click on Edit Recipient List and just check to make sure that they came across, and there they are. And from here, I'm not going to do it, but you can sort and filter. But I'm going to just hit OK. And then you can start writing your personalized email message. Dear, I have picked up their title, which would be Dr. Mr. Last name, comma. I'm not going to sit here and type, but we did have a field called Ad Source. And there's the rest of the email. I'm just making that up. There. And the final step is come over here and click on Finish and Merge. And you want to send out the email messages. Always have a subject in your emails. I'm just making up stuff. Click OK. When you click OK, if you notice it ran through here real quick, the mail merge actually, the final step is Microsoft Outlook, which I already have running. So I'm going to click on Outlook and I'm going to go to my sent item folder. And one, two, three, four, five emails. Notice the ad source is changing over here. Whoops, sorry. Five emails. Notice that the ad source is changing right over here. So that way you can send out personalized email to your customers, employees, vendors, etc. Thank you.